Hi everybody, we are uh, Mary Ann Rich Weicker. We are um, St. Giles parishioners. I've, I went to St. Giles for school, so I've been a parishioner in some capacity or another really for my, for my whole life. We as a family have been parishioners for nearly 20 years and have um, four, or will have four of our five kids in the, in the school next year and, and look forward to it. On thinking about doing this video, one thing that, that really struck me is that I've, I've been connecting and, and living my faith through St. Giles really, really for my whole life. I, I went to school there, I go to Mass there, my kids go there, a lot of my social life, be it retreads, men's society, all those things are, are through St. Giles and I, um, that's an important part of my life and I, and I miss it. Like Rich said, it's hard to put into words what these past few months have been like, but for me, um, I think it's been rather emotional. There's just been a lot of um, different emotions, sometimes so overwhelming, you just feel like you're up and down, you're on these waves. And um, that, in thinking about that, it reminded me of a quote from St. Teresa of Lusseau, who says to us that thy world is thy ship and not thy home. And it brings me comfort to think about that, that um, this isn't forever. Um, but what is forever is our faith. And that's our buoy. That's what we can cling to. And um, hopefully sail through these times. But I also had a great comfort and reminder when I walked through the courtyard at St. Giles with the prayer ribbons um, streaming on the breeze and it was just a, a wonderful way to see the St. Giles community come together with these prayers and um, and know that we, we all are still thinking of each other and praying for each other. We, uh, we hope and pray that everybody is, is as well as they can be and, and we look forward to, to when we can do this and connect together and pray together in person. Uh, God bless.